Get your Santa hats on, get your Christmas jumpers on because Bridgemas is here. Half of the gang are here. Oh, there. Oh, that's a really cute <laughs> shot. <laughs> How many? Weird find of the shop. Pigs in blankets flavoured gravy granules. Oh, that is very cute. I don't, are you going to get a matching jumper? Give us a demonstration then. This won't, this won't, this won't do it. But like this, I can imagine it's like that. Yeah, I can, I can only imagine. <laughs> Turkey prep is in full swing. We're just playing games, we've got music on, it's very chill. Oh. Woo, boy, so much steam. <laughs> hey. Woo! Party's having fun. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Guess what time of the year it is? It's Christmas time. It is the 1st of December today, which means for all of you Scrooges out there who didn't want to start celebrating in November, you can now start feeling Christmassy. And it is also Bridgemas time. So if any of you don't remember, I studied at Cambridge University and on the 25th of November every year we do Bridgemas dinner, so Cambridge Christmas, um, because our term times were really short and by the time December rolled round we were all heading home for the Christmas so we didn't get to spend Christmas together. That said, we're now all working adults, which means we can kind of celebrate Christmas at more of a normal time. So each year, my friends and I still reunite around Christmas time to celebrate Bridgemas. Um, not on the 25th of November this year, we've actually left it till this weekend. So it'll be the 3rd of December, I think, 3rd, 4th of December this weekend. Um, so a little bit more closer to the Christmas time, so we're all feeling a bit more festive. So you guessed it, I'm headed off to Cambridge tonight. We're going to do our big Christmas shop. Um, it is Thursday today, so I'm still at work and I'm just, well, I spent my morning volunteering, helping out um, collect donations for local food banks. Um, my work are really big on encouraging volunteering and I really love volunteering, so I you know, sign myself up to help out, so that's been really fun. I did it last, last Christmas and I think in summer as well, though I was actually working in a food kitchen um, in the summer and actually packaging up meals. This time I was flyering and encouraging customers to donate in stores, donate to their local food banks, and we managed to fill a whole like deep trolley full of goods in like the first three hours alone which is just insane so big big thank you to everyone who donated and yeah i'd encourage all of you guys to donate and to volunteer or give time it doesn't have to be money or food but give your time if you can this christmas it's a particularly difficult time this year for people so yeah help out where you can i've just got back in the house i've got half a day left of work on my actual laptop and then i'm going to catch a train straight after work to cambridge to get ahead with our Christmas shopping for the Christmas day because we need, or Bridgemas day, because we need to defrost the massive turkey. So, you know, get your Santa hats on, get your Christmas jumpers on because Bridgemas is here. To kick off the festive fun, I went to my local bakery and picked up this Christmas rum truffle. I'm not sure what it's gonna taste like or even what it's gonna look like inside, but I saw it in the window and it looked too festive, like a cute little Christmas pudding that I just couldn't say no. Like, look at that topper. Very, very festive and I just knew I had to get it. Um, I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so this is not what I was expecting at all. It's super fudgy and dense inside. I don't know if you can see that, if I can try and get my camera to focus. Yeah, it's like really soft and like kind of mousse-like. Um, but kind of cakey as well and that rum is quite strong probably shouldn't be eating this when i'm at work but it's so delicious very very rich but i don't mind because it, it just screams christmas to me and it's very very tasty no Hello! Look who it is! I've just greeted you with the camera. I am back in Cambridge. Half of the gang are here. Oh, there. Oh, that's a really cute <laughs> shot. <laughs> and it is, what time is it? 20 to 9 at night. Um, we are just about to head out to do our big Christmas shop. I love this part. I actually think I enjoy it more than cooking the dinner itself sometimes. It's really fun running around the supermarket and 
I love a supermarket shop. That's really showing my age now, isn't it? Um, but I do love a grocery shop and bagging those deals and browsing Christmas food. You look very excited, Ed, <laughs> to, to go and get that food. So we're gonna head out now. Um, Isha, again, our head turkey chef is here and we need to get the turkey two days before we cook it so we can start defrosting it and prepping everything. So yeah, I will take you along the ride with us and you can do our Christmas shop with us. Yeah, we always have a name for our turkey. I think, what, what was it last year? It was Terence or maybe the first year it was Terence and it was a Toby or something. So put your names down in the comments what the turkey's going to be called this year. <laughs> turkey naming competition. Yeah, turkey naming competition. Best name wins and it's a prize from Emma. <laughs> There is no prize. The prize is my love and affection and gratitude. <laughs> the prize is my thanks. <laughs> she did. Like me once. Want to do like um, yeah, a game. paper game. Wow. Uh, Tesco, here we go. Right, anyone can tell me where I park. It's here. We're here. We're at Tesco. You can barely see it because of this deadly fog. Like, what is this? Are you ready for Christmas? Tim, good start. Left the lights on. Cracking. Save the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Off to a great start. How many times did I say before we left the house, let's not forget plastic bags? And Ed was in charge of plastic bags. And what's he done? Forgot the plastic bags. Great start. I realised they were going to be hiding. Oh, my. Unbeatable deals. Look at that. So worth it. How many? 40. Look at all those chickens. <laughs> <laughs> What you got? <laughs> what are you doing? Look at all that veg. Those sprouts. Why are those sprouts look so wild? It's a Christmas tree. What on earth? You leave them alone. Yeah, like it's like letting the children go loose to buy the shopping, coming back with sweets. Why did you pick up a tree? Why did you get a plant? This is so random. And your and your team. <laughs> you get, we gave you one job. All you had to do was get veg. And you've come back with the weirdest Brussels sprouts. At least you've got potato. What, why just one, one single potato? Whoa, those parsnips are huge. Look at those parsnips. And a tree. A small, small Do you know how heavy tree. the potatoes are that you've got? You just want it because it's Christmas tree shaped. It's literally just cheddar, that's so boring. <laughs> With black pepper. Weird find of the shop. Pigs in blankets flavored gravy granules. Who would have thought it? Who is buying this this Christmas? I would love to know. Let me know in the comments if you would buy that. Next festive find, pigs in blankets flavored nuts. <laughs> and salted caramel party nutmegs. What a winner. Christmas packaging. I'm just slow zooming in. Wow, nice. <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> nice. Do we want the silver or do we want the green? I like the green, yeah, the green. Yeah, go on tall person, do your thing. Way. Right, do, do you have any wrap paper? And look at that dessert. It is a salted caramel and chocolate millionaire shoe wreath. That looks so tasty. And that concludes our Christmas shop. And one last minute purchase. I picked up this cute Christmas pudding snooty, oody type thing. You can't really see it in this light, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's on when I get in the house. Because you care for the environment so much, you've decided to pop it all in the trolley and not get plastic bags, rather than pay probably like 10p for the convenience. Well, if Ed had just brought the plastic bags, it wouldn't be a British issue. Look whose fault it is. I think it's that bad. Up this way. Christmas shop all unpacked. I've got my 
oody snooty hoodie dressing gown thing on and i am so pleased with my impulse purchase look how cute these little christmas puddings are they've got the cutest faces and yeah i only paid 14 pounds for this with my discount so i'm feeling very very happy about that i don't normally impulse purchase things but it was just too cute not to and the joy i'm going to get from it is enormous so i definitely think that's a worth it purchase one thing I would say though is it is quite ginormous. I mean, I also don't think that's a problem because it's very comfy and snug and I can wear it on top of my clothes. Um, I texted it to my mum and she was like, I can definitely see you wearing that on Christmas day. So yeah, definitely worth it, I think. Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. I'm obviously at my friend's house because, oh, there is an Isha. Where are you off to? The kitchen table. Oh, <laughs> Isha looks like he's fully like ready to walk out the front door. <laughs> this is my work buddy for the day. As I was saying, um, we are obviously at our friend's house this weekend for our Christmas dinner. We did the big shop last night, but that does mean we've still got one more day of work and need somewhere to work. So the kitchen table shall be our workspace for the day. I'm feeling rather knackered because I had the worst sleep ever. The bed was so uncomfortable and the pillow was so flat and then the heating came on at God knows what time and it was just so stuffy. So I'm not feeling on top form, but couldn't even sleep in or have a nap or anything because someone needs that room as their study for work. So I might have to have a tactical nap on the sofa in the middle of the day of my lunch break or something. But for now, oh hey, you've got the same work laptop as me. Look. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but for now, how are we going to get through this day of work together? I'm so easily distracted, yeah. I'm just going to end up chatting. It's going to be rough, but it's fine. But, yeah, we're, we're just going to be getting in the Christmas spirit anyway. It's a Friday, hopefully it'll be chill. Just got to get through the day, then the rest of our friends will start arriving. And then, before we know it, it will be Bridgemas Day. feeling like that naughty child on the run up to Christmas because we have all of our like Christmas food things laid out here we've got like our wines our crisps like it's more like snacky bits and it's kind of like the pile where your mum's like that's the Christmas pile that's the Christmas food you're not allowed to eat it until Christmas don't touch it and I'm sat working at my desk eyeing up the crisps and the crackers and the cheese and I'm like I could do with a snack right now and I'm using every bit of willpower not to come in and steal this one's my eyeing up i like the look of the prawn crisps and what are these mature cheddar and red onion they also had um like turkey and sage and pigs and blankets and christmas pudding flavored crisps i've never heard of that before ever i'm not sure what to make of it i would have loved to have tried it but i'm oh and i'm also eyeing up these mince pies and to top it all off Isha's mum tends to make something every single year. Like last year, what was it? Was it the hot chocolate, hot chocolate stirrers? This year, she's made a Christmas pudding. So I am desperate to get my hands on that, but I'm trying to hold myself back. I'm trying to say, no, wait for Christmas. It'll be worth it then. But I have a feeling before the end of the day is out, Isha and I will be into those crisps and we'll be trying to buy some new to replenish the stock. <laughs> we have headed into Cambridge City Centre. We are off to do a Christmas shop. It's a lot colder than expected, so we've got our hoods up. Tim is yeah. mm -hmm. braving the cold yeah. without all these layers. No, it's not. But that we're bad. <laughs> we're not quite prepared for it. Um, Tim's getting last minute secret Santa presents, and I think some others, like Paigey, are also in town, so we might bump into her while we're here.
which one are you going to go for? Hat. You could go for the reindeer one or are you going Santa hat? You know I am. Oh, and that is very cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, are you going to get a matching jumper? I don't think Or have you got one at home already? I, I don't know. Or is it just too much? I've never or you could go with yeah. creepy Santa on your head. <laughs> or Christmas tree. Paige, you've got to put that one on. It looks like this. Oh, but it, because it's not. all like... Give us a demonstration then. This won't, this won't, this won't do it. But like this, I can imagine it's like that. Yeah, I can, I can only imagine. <laughs> That's too cute. Oh. I don't even know. Wait, beard baubles. <laughs> just trying to imagine what they'd look I like on this face. Know, they're kind of scary. <laughs> Well, how they how do clips? they slot in? Yeah, how would you even wear them on your face? Well, I have no clue. What do you say? How much? But I would <laughs> love to see those on your face. We are back in from our quick Christmas yeah, shop, nice. and I am now having some homemade soup. It's got beans, carrots, um, celery, mm. sweet corn, peas. Um, I can't even think. It's just a very wholesome veggie soup, and I've got my Christmas. Snuggy, snooty, oody, whatever you call it on. So I'm feeling quite festive and Tim has decorated, oh, hello. <laughs> Tim has decorated the house with some candles. So we're all feeling ready for our Christmas dinner tomorrow. Bridgemas, the Bridgemas tree, the pink, what, Poundland tree from last year? Wilco. Oh, Wilco, the Tinsel's Poundland. <laughs> pink, pink Wilco tree from last year that you can't really see with the lights behind me. Yeah, and the wheel from our spin the wheel party, if anyone saw that on my Instagram. But now, yeah, we're in full festive spirits. We've had Bailey's hot chocolate. We've got the Christmas tunes on that I'm probably gonna get done for copyright on and not be able to include this clip in my vlog. Fingers crossed, you can't hear it too much. And let the festivities begin. <laughs> Sick whale. I'm very sick. Oh. Yeah, not COVID. I'm sick. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> you can't do that the whole night. No, I've got a mask. Got a mask. Don't worry. It's oh not man. Well, Hello. at least you made it. Don't. Do you just germ on my camera? Yeah. I'm gonna have to sanitize yeah, that now. Yeah, sanitize the camera. Thanks, whale. <laughs> Merry Bridgemas or Christmas if anyone doesn't know what Bridgemas is. Everybody, the turkey prep is in full swing. Santa Claus, Mr. Isha, again, head turkey <laughs> chef this year. 
We are just doing some tidying around the house because it looks a bit, oh hey Tim, mm. oh, you look cute. <laughs> We're doing a bit of tidying around the house. We have clean preparation space when we start doing the veggies later on in the day. We need to get the extra table because there are about 10 of us I think and we're not all gonna fit around the table. Santa's little elves are waiting to clear the kitchen but they're being very well behaved and not making any noise in the background of my vlog so I can vlog. Um, yay! We should have done it to the tune of Christmas songs. Jingle. Yeah. We're gonna yeah get the Christmas tunes on, get tidying and get prepping. Mm. Will has already started on the potato peeling. How's it going, Will? I'm not stressed. Why I'm, are you I'm not I'm not stressed. <laughs> peeling potatoes isn't that stressful. People song. keep telling me I'm stressed. I'm not. I'm not I'm not Tim. <laughs> <laughs> No, you did a great job of the roasties last year, so I feel like you've it got this It was a team effort. Back. I can't take all the credit. No, you, you definitely manned the potatoes. Oh, the person. doorbell. <laughs> wow. Who's here? Get her oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. It's a page. Why? Yeah, I just Wait, that's that's the first time. <laughs> With a roasted... Oh, so what is that for? Is that for the cauliflower cheese? Yeah. I thought it would be good for serving and or... It's, it's quite serving small like serving <laughs> serving yeah <laughs> but, <I have laughs> but we appreciate the effort yeah, appreciate the oh what is this plates. yay okay. oh those are really cute yeah, i'm pretty sure we ran out of plates very place. festive really yeah just for serving things as well as eating yeah Amazing. Thank you, Paige. Oh, there's a literal wheel. Oh, yeah. Wheel time. When we get on the wide. When are we getting on? Yeah. So the prompt for the game is useless in an emergency and useful in an emergency. And Isha has given us Ed as a clue to guess how useful or useless he will be. <laughs> Paige thinks he's slightly on the useless side. I think he's slightly on the useful side. Oh, straight down the middle. But maybe we're just, yeah, maybe it is just I straight down the straight middle. Down the emergency, because it really does depend on the emergency. That's true, that's true. That is true, that, that's that's like that the there's no context for that. Emergency, <laughs> <laughs> we had that, we had that at the Christmas <laughs> shop yesterday. We did have that at the Christmas shop yesterday. What was the verdict? They've said right, yeah, go on then. What's the real? Oh. 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 No points you for anyone. Oh. Yeah, you were you were really close, Paige. Oh. And we get three time. points for hitting three. Oh, so close. Oh, you get points as well. I was going to do something yeah. pretty mm, pretty temporary. <laughs> The Christmas makeup is all on. Will is still prepping the potatoes. Bruh. And now we are moving to mulled wine time. So we've ticked off Bailey's coffee or Irish coffee, whatever you want to call it. And we think it's time to crack open the mulled wine while we're prepping and then red wine with dinner. So it's a, it's a bit of a festive one. Alcohol spirits, getting in the Christmas spirits. Um, and pretty much everyone is here now. We're just waiting on a few more people. Three people, people. Yeah, pe people keep dropping in and out though. It's one of those things where it's an all day prep. So it's just drop in when you're free. Wait, are I, you quite all right? What are you doing? I was like, can I leave when we eat it? Because that means like, I can just- That means more for us. You yeah, can leave and we, we get more of the food. I'm about so. to throw. Oh. Um, yeah, we're just playing games. We've got music on. It's very chill. It is a stress-free Christmas day to be fair. It's feeling, yeah, we're, we're feeling good. We're feeling in the in the festive spirit, if I haven't said that like a hundred times already. Oh. It's turkey basting time. Oh. Yeah, How's it going? Basting, yeah, I was gonna say it's, oh, okay. uh, it's a bit dry oh, on the ground. It might be the next racing, but what 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 let me get some response. What's that fucking thing you watch it?
Yeah, watch out, ready? Big two, one. Flying stairs. Woo, boys, so much steam. Steamy. <laughs> How are they looking, Will? Are they crisp? They're not, they're not there yet. They're not there, they're looking fluffy. Good par, good par boiling from you, Will, I would say. No, we full boiled them. Oh, you full boiled yeah, them? Yeah, like... Oh, nice rosemary sprigs. Thank you, thank you. Can you're bringing the other one out as well? Yeah, we'll bring up some more. This one's absolutely drenched in oil. I oil. love potatoes. I think I read it. Like, look, look how drenched this one is. Look at these I'll, boys. I'll look at that one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah. Ready for turning. We are very close to Christmas dinner time, we're about an hour away now, so we've got the roasties in, we've got the turkey in, we're just waiting for the carrots and parsnips, and then we are nearly all done, and we're just waiting on one more person turning up, who popped in this morning, and we'll pop back, and then we're ready to serve, so very, very close to Christmas, fingers crossed it goes all according to plan, and everything tastes good. Bad, this one's gonna hate. It's the pressure. No, 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 okay. Okay. I'll not include your face. What so then, you if you chop the sprouts in a weird way, no one can trace no it back to you. No, 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 that's fine. That's how you chop sprouts, right? I do this and then I like peel it. That that looks good to me. These yeah. These are really small. Yeah, these are quite small sprouts. I love sprouts. Oh my god, why am I peeling it into I'll stop videoing. It's too much pressure. Too much pressure. <laughs> Go. Turkey time! Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah! Oh my goodness. Look at that lemon. Thank you, Santa. Turkey Santa. Look at that. Look at that good, good boy. <laughs> oh, cute! Nice. How are they looking, Will? They're looking alright. I can't see the bottom ones. I'm going to get my Nice. Everyone seems to be running around like headless it's chickens. Like, it's meant to be. Turkeys. <laughs> it's pigs and blankets time. In they go. Which one? This one? In they go. Nice. Oh, that smells a bit burnt. <laughs> How long? Is there a timer? No. All good. More wine time. Oh, that's such a great ball. Merry Bridgemas or Christmas. Yay! The page has started on the cauliflower cheese. It's the only part that only you eat. Correct. <laughs> but very important for you at least. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. Do you have cauliflower cheese on Christmas or is it just Paige? I think it's just Paige. <laughs> yeah, Isha will have some cauliflower cheese. Yeah, Nice. The more absent at Christmas, the better. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You do you. You you have your. Yeah, maybe it'll look good once it's ready. Maybe. <laughs> So, <laughs> we have done a co-op delivery via a real life robot, which we are now opening the door to. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. Is he here? Is he here? Where is it? It's probably stuck. Ah, there he is, I can see, I can see. Let me turn the camera around. Where is he? Oh my goodness. Deliver us our wine. There's a robot, a real life robot. Can we open him? <laughs> Yeah. Does he just stop minutes. there? Does he does he come forward? Is this not a robot? Is this, this a different no, robot? No, no, I think that's it. Right? That must be him. <laughs> oh my goodness! Please, this um, is crazy! No, I think oh, I that's I not a robot! I told it to go past our house. Why? That's not a robot. Why? Go get the wine, Tim! Save the wine! What? We're now on to the that's stuffing, so that's like the last part of the Christmas meal, which means we're nearly finished. And the turkey, we're just slicing, stuffing, stuffing. Oh my goodness, it's nearly done. We are nearly there. Pigs and blankets are also out of the oven. We've got the gravy over here and the carrots and parsnips, which means it is nearly time to serve up our Christmas dinner. What's the policy on mint sauce? Cat, well, what does your hat say? Can you read? No cap, bro. <laughs> no cap, no cap, cap, cap. The best well, secret Santa. Am I wearing a cap right now? I like We're wearing like cap <laughs> Oh, this is amazing. Cap. Wow. No cap, bro. Oh. I love it. Nice. Oh, it's on two. They're doing two king drops. So 
second word. Crazy. Panic. 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 Scared. Uh, crazy. 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 Psycho. 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 Psycho cheese board that we did the next day and the mince pies and things as you can hear in my voice probably I got pretty sick after our Christmas dinner picked up the bug that everyone seems to have or the cold or flu whatever it is so kind of was just taking a bit easy I'm gonna have to take this week easy because I just feel like I don't know, so stuffy in my head, but yeah, the next day we kind of just enjoyed the fresh air, went for walks, had a really slow afternoon, did the cheese board, did the mince pies, and then we all headed home. So I just wanted to enjoy that time with my friends, especially not feeling well, I didn't feel up to filming, but I hope you enjoyed all of the other parts of the Christmas dinner I filmed. Let me know in the comments below what you guys do for Christmas Day. I love to hear all about your Christmas traditions. Have you got anything planned? Is there anything you do every single year that you're looking forward to doing this year? Let me know. And thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.